Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this channel on Monday week 142. I'm starting a brand new Journal on Monday art journal, first spread, and I took out these two stencils of mine. And the first one, first one that I'm using is the crackled one. Now it has suffered a bit during workshops, so the crackles are a bit more crackled than they're supposed to be, but it will work. And I'm also prepping this piece of kitchen roll because I don't want to apply the medium all over the spread, so this will protect what I want to keep white. And then using a piece of washi tape, I keep that piece of kitchen wall in place. The first layer is Deco Art Crackle Paint, which was not a good idea because it's extremely hot here at the moment, so I have a fan blowing right behind me. So of course I had no cracks at all once it was dry. The upside is that it dried really, really fast. Reusing my kitchen wall stencil and now my rock formation stencil, I'm adding a second layer of um, paste and this time it's just regular modeling paste. I picked out three colors in the fluid acrylic, the quinacridone violet, phthalo turquoise and the dark gray. And I'm going to use these three colors combined with lots of water. So I'm protecting my um, journal to avoid having the color going everywhere. And the paintbrush that I'm picking is a watercolor paintbrush. So now I can start playing around with my colors. And as you can see, I'm working wet on wet as I've applied water on my journal as well. So yesterday I spent an hour and a half during a hangout with my patrons on my Patreon page. And during that hour and a half, we talked about tips and tricks on stenciling, on how to make it easier for you to not have medium where you don't want to have it, or on several ways to use your stencils. And I have to say it was really it was really fun. We really had a good time together. So if you would like to join us for hangouts, for live journal on journal with me sessions, for more extended journal on Monday videos, that's the place to be. I'll link my Patreon page in the description of this video. So if you want to check it out, that's where you have to be. Meanwhile, I'm still building up my colors, drying in between the different colors to avoid color contaminations. I want to have the colors sitting next to one another and not have the violet turn into a bluish purple. So I'm playing with the water, I'm playing with my heat gun to dry it in between and that's how I build up the color scheme. As I still have some of the diluted color on my table, I'm taking this uh, packaging wrap and I'm using it to dab on some more of the color, just to add some hints of color at the top of the page as well. I'm frustrated that I don't have any crackles from the first layer at the beginning of this spread, so I'm going back in with the crackle paint, just adding very light touches here and there. And yes, I did turn down the fan to do this, to make sure that this time I would have crackles. For my next layer, I took out some washi tapes. These are the Tim Holtz one. These are very old. I've had these for like forever. 
And again, I'm just adding hints of washi tape here and there. As you can see, I'm really using tiny bits and pieces of it. Washi tape has the nasty habit of coming loose after a while, so to make sure that it will stay in place, I'm just applying a thin layer of ultra matte varnish over it, so you won't even see it, but it will help the washi tape to stay in place. This is cambric that has been colorized using Quin Gold Fluid Acrylic to give it this rusty shine. And this will be the base for my wording. I'm going through my stamps, picking out a word from my Perfect Words stamp set and also um, that series of eeny meeny tiny numbers. That's a stamp that I absolutely love and I want to add it everywhere. So I'm adding it on this, on this spread as well. I'm just making sure that I'm stamping in the right direction because the numbers are so small that it's hard to see. And now I can prep my little wording. Looking at it at this stage, I decided to go in using my circle stencil. This is the large version of it, as well as a charcoal pencil, very lightly, and then blending the charcoal using a blending stump. And I'm still using my stencil so that I'm really blending inside the circle and that it's not going all over the place. But it was still too harsh to my liking. So I'm using a kneadable eraser to lighten it up even more. Then using a very fine um, fine liner, <laughs> I'm <laughs> adding some more circles to it. A very fine fine liner, yeah. So this is where I realized that my black thread has, well, it doesn't make any sense to add the black thread as well. So I'm gonna take that away and instead of that I'm going to journal around the circle. Like I said, there's no point in using that black thread anymore, so that will stay aside and now I can just glue down my word, but I want to add a piece of that bright colorized paper. It's a leftover for something. I cannot even remember what I colorized it with, but it will make the word pop from the background even more. So I can just build up everything where I want to have it. That's about it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to receive notifications, don't forget to click on the little bell next to the subscription button. I'll link all the products that I use that are available in my web shop in the description of this video, as well as my Patreon page. And I hope I will see you there. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye.